Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in this demo, I will be discussing query optimization with regards to Redshift. Now, for this demo, I would be using the sample database that we can provision when setting up our net cluster, when setting up our Redshift, Redshift cluster. So, for my cluster, I'm using a simple DC2 node, and I'm using one node that has two slices. So, this node would be having two slices and I'm just using one node so you know just <laughs> not incur some costs. Okay, so this is a sample database that I'm I will be using. It has uh, seven tables, and uh, all of these tables have uh, varying columns. Sorry, varying lengths of rows uh, around, uh, th and the largest row is around less than two hundred thousand rows. The two fact tables yes control contain each contain less than two hundred thousand rows. All right, so let now let me go into my query editor all right so for okay so this the the database that i'm using is essentially does not have uh, either a distribution key or a sort key now in order to use in order to you know uh, make our queries efficient we need to define a distribution key and a sort key while uh, when we create our tables of course, this is done before. Uh, this is done when uh, when the table is being created, so that and we know we have the pro we have the proper knowledge of the data, and we can accurately uh, create a distrib a distribution key and a sort key. In this case, for example, I do not have any distribution keys or sort keys, so any query that I do, that I would run over here would by default would not be would not be optimized. So, for example. Uh, Okay, so let me have a look. Uh, let me show you the data set in a moment. So the table category table has 11 rows and such the date has 36, 365, even has 8700. 80, listing, listing has 192k. I guess this is one extra. 192,427. And uh, sales has this much. Okay, so we have varying lengths of uh, data because these two are our fact tables. And we do not have any distribution distribution key or sort key. Okay, so bef if we do not have any a distribution key or a sort key, we can see that, uh, for example, we have a small query where we are selecting, uh, we are joining the e sales table and the event table on event ID. Okay, so this is the sales table. One, two, three, four, five. This is the event ID. And the event table, the third table, event ID. So this is the primary key of the event table. Now, as you can see, the cost that we have right the current the cost that we have right now is quite a lot. Is it's in millions. It's like nearly nearly four thousand million. So we can see the query plan that it has to essentially has to scan the, all the rows, eighty eight hundred around eighty eight hundred rows, and it performs a hash join. Uh, that, uh, that is used for inner joints, etc. Et and then, uh, on the other hand, it scans the 172,000 uh, rows of the sales table. And then, at the end, we perform a hash join. Now, we can see that we we broadcast the small the inner table to all of our nodes. Essentially, what happens with the DSB cast inner is that uh, we are essentially broadcasting our smaller table to the entire cluster. And to all the nodes inside, uh, to all the node slices in our nodes in our cluster, right? So what does this imply? This implies that this is the slowest possible method, or the least, you can say, preferable method of uh, doing a query. I, you can see this form here that, for example, the DSB cache inner indicates that the inner table is being broadcasted to each and every node each and every node this is okay for a small table but very costly as the table size increases so essentially this is not preferable of course uh, the query plan does make this but this is not something that we want this is inef this is inefficient now what happens is that in order to make our queries uh, more efficient one of the methods that we can follow is that we can we can have a proper distribution style and we can have a proper sort which means that we should have a proper uh, distribution key and we have we have we should have a proper distribution style. There are three styles: distribution style th that correspond to even key key and all, and we should also have proper sort keys. And there are two type of uh, sort styles. So coming towards the distribution styles, we have three styles. 
starting with uh, even key and all now I have a little picture that I can demonstrate this with now if, depending on the situation because we have to choose a distribution style now for for a key what happens is that our distribution keys are e are distributed among the our node slices for example the first column of our let's say that for for example if i create this event id as a distribution key so this these distribution keys would be evenly divided among the among the nodes for example uh, the first key would go to slice a this would go to slice b c d and then a b c d etc so this would go on till the end now this is useful for this is useful when we have uh, join intensive uh, when we know that this table is join intensive as this this column would be used for joins on again and again so we usually use this in that scenario and then we have uh, an another style called all and in this uh, we usually have that this is usually preferable for smaller tables uh, for example uh, our result table is quite small it, it only has 11 rows this can be used in, uh, as for this I can use I can use the cat ID as the distribution key and the distribu distribution style could be all in the sense that this table would be copied to all of the slices inside all of the nodes this is only this is only used for smaller for smaller uh, tables and in the end we have even this what happens is that uh, our our keys are distributed in an even fashion in a round robin fashion so essentially they would be roaming around all of the slices now this is only useful when we are, our data is not skewed on one side now coming towards the demo <coughs> we can see that uh, in the in the case where we do not have any uh, we, where do not we where we do not have any distribution keys or sort keys our uh, our cost is quite large it's in it's not nearly 4000 million now what i've done is that i've created another th another table called even ds which is of course distributed and sorted and i've defined the distribution key as an event id and the sort key as a as the uh, cat id which is the category id and of course i'm creating this from the event table and i've created another table from sales that and i'm i have used this this the distribution key and the sort key as both of these are the are the event id now okay so another thing that is that and in this case uh this be this the a hash join is being used now for example uh in this in this scenario where uh for example our distribution key and our sort key are different the our query optimizer would prefer to use a hash join now for example if in this case like uh, our distribution key and our sort key is the same now we can in this scenario we can use the merge join why because uh, our data would already be sorted and the merge join is the fastest so of course this is quite intuitive that we can use we can opti we can use the uh, sorting to our advantage and directly go to the merge join as like as i can like demonstrate this to you over here see this cost let me see okay so the cost for this for this query where I'm using the updated table for event where we where have defined a distribution key and a sort key for both of these tables now the cost has come down to 7000 and before that it was like 4000 million around 4000 million for uh, it is it's like 400 million sorry not 4000 million or 400 million for uh for the dsb customer which means that our inner table is being broadcasted to all the nodes however in this case uh, we we're not broadca broadcasting anything um, as our because we have a proper distribution key and our keys have been distributed across the nodes so that is why we are able to have a quick you can say uh a quick a smaller a cost or a lesser cost we can uh, th this is why we have a smaller cost over here and this is a good for visualization and okay another thing that i wanted to try was that i wanted to load data from the uh, because okay in some cases even uh doing so like uh performing like for example i just randomly made some you can say 
uh, I'd, I'd, I'd already made some columns as the distribution column and the sort column. Now, what happens is that in it, in not all cases is this supported. For example, in is in this case, uh, in a case, there was uh, I was able to get the same result from having distribution keys and not having distribution keys. So that was quite strange. So I'll be looking it into it a little more. For example, in this case, I. Uh, I think I messed something up and <laughs> before the cost before that the cost was three po around 300 something and then after that it was quite a lot fair this was a mistake but the point is that if if we properly use our distribution keys and sort keys we can re re reduce the cost from nearly 300 million to just like 7000 all right so I guess this is uh, this is done thank you